Hey guys, it's day nine. Yeah, it's a boot roll in Botswana. We day two Savuti. We off to a little bit of a late start this morning. It's half past nine. Beautiful day, 19 degrees. And we're gonna find the we're on the hunt for the leopard. We've got uh, Ranger Mark. Because if we dre dressed like a ranger, we'll probably find something. Yep. We're hoping to find that elusive leopard, maybe even some cheetah. And cheetah today. David's on the wheel today, so hopefully we don't get stuck. Uh, <laughs> as I got us stuck. <laughs> and that's our tracks for the day. We're looking for a cheetah out in the wild and not one at the poker table. Back on when we found this cheetah. Sorry guys, we, ha we haven't found that leopard yet, but Mark has given us some phenomenal advice which he'd like to share with the world around how you find that elusive leopard. So when you're driving and you, you're looking for game, you're scanning from left to right and right to left again, and you're looking for some movement in the bush, and then you focus on that movement to see what it is. So I'm hoping my stu two students up front here I can see their heads moving left to right. Let's see that boys. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're going to check all this advice just now at camp with uh, Ranger Lung Twin. Um, just to make sure that that is accurate. So we don't mess up the rest of our uh, trip. And David's still on the wheel. We haven't got stuck yet. But it's only been another 50 meters. <laughs> Same spot. Uh. Okay, so we managed to get ourselves stuck here. Um, I wasn't joking about the 50 meters. David got us stuck 50 yeah, meters stuck. from the video start. Um, Ranger Mark says it's not the vehicle, it's the driver. But I think we're in trouble here. Must I give you a push? Okay, we're gonna give it a little push. <laughs> it's radio your brother. <laughs> Mark, smile out. <laughs> <laughs> He's amateurs, eh, Mark? Give us a toe. Be able to pull us. It's very difficult. I'm just gonna get stuck. Ah, shit. So, very hard. Can we push? We'll try. You have a tie, though. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only way is just to push you back, to, to pull you back. Okay. I'll try. If, if you, you can, can I'll be yeah. grateful. So we'll put two toe two, two two ropes. So that no, I'm at least far there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sorry, Mark. Simon, just roll your window down on that side. You can hear Mark as well. Okay, go, Simon. There we go.
Sorry guys. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Sorry we got you stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we all get out of here eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you guys here a while or not too long? No, no, about no, about no, 15 no. minutes, but oh, we're very grateful to find you. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was becoming a long day. <laughs> Okay, that's what the first 50 meters from Savuti brought us. <laughs> Dave. Still within radio contact. <laughs> Dave, no more. <laughs> if anyone's coming, this is not the road to take. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. It was tiring. No leopard though. <laughs> okay, for this shot, so I'm gonna stand in the middle and then hold Mark's hand and then let's stretch so people can see it. Stand up, but let's see no, the, David. The, the, what the fuck? Dave, 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 this is a baobab tree or an upside down tree. How big do you think this thing is? How old? Sure, I have no idea. It's quite a small one. Just to give you the idea of the size of this tree, that's our vehicle. It's a baobab tree. So just is, this is just outside the Savuti Lodge. You said hundreds of thousands. Oh, let's just go with hundreds of years old. speculating if it's a lion sighting or leopard okay. just stop here exciting news found the lion a bit irritating because we've uh, tracked the square got here and suddenly all the vehicles have arrived with us after we've spent most of the morning tracking the square Okay, that male under the tree has just realized this male's in its territory.
calling the giraffe suicidal Sid. under that bush. There's some Americans pooping in their pants. There's a guy standing up. There's a guy standing up. Look at that hook standing. That is just stupid. Take the chicken in the back. He's so scared. So does he want to look back? Yeah, the warthog going straight for where the line are there. <laughs> They've just realized I'm a cock. <laughs> He's lying. There's giraffe moving closer. The other one's just spotted it. The tree. Yeah, and suicide Sid's gone even closer. <laughs> There's all the lion over there. Suicide said. Okay, I'll take you through to our campsite. So one thing about these sites are um, the closest that you'll be to the ablution blocks is about a hundred meters but then it gets the best campsites are obviously far then from the ablution and we've got Mark. Mark tell us what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my laundry. Fantastic. Day Remember to Can separate the whites. Can eh? I give you some undies? <laughs> yeah, sure, throw them in. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just... Your here. <laughs> the shop only opens at four, but it's open till six, uh, till seven, so we can get on the way in. Cool. Okay, so you can see that it's quite a thick sand. Walking through the the sand to the ablution blocks, we recommend leave the slip slops or bring four bears because you're going to go through them. They're going to break. This is the proper stuff you need. Yeah. There we go. Also, be careful for ticks. They are a bit of a nuisance. There's our site. There's our site. So we're always reversing just in case we need to uh, make a quick getaway. <laughs> or to get to our solar panels. <laughs> One thing, yeah, the, the elephants they do come very close to the campsites. So you'll see by the elephant dung that's within two meters of our tents. See over there, they often come along and give us a nice visit. You need to go back more, Simon. Guy. So this is the site. Everyone's hiding there, trying to get some shade. Let's give you a rundown. That's the braai. That's the kitchen area over there. Bin. That's the scullery and washing area. We've taken a five bedroomed spot. The honey Badger's kitchen. Yeah, Honey Badger's kitchen, that over there, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Water. Kitchen tent, there's our tent at the back. Four by four trailer. Tell them where you have to stick your hands in the tap. Let's show you guys the 
the interesting water spot. So, this is our tap. Now to get water, you've got to stick your hand in there. Yeah, you're all on. So, it's quite scary. Sometimes there's a hand on the side! <laughs> or not. <laughs> there we go. They say if you drink this water, you'll live forever or die by sunset. <laughs> Mark just called Buffalo and Simon, oh. and he's got a down. Mark just called Buffalo and Simon two barnocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's unfair. You guys aren't drinking at all. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Andrew, you dick. I know it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> Ask Andrew if he's got some of those yellow heartburn tablets that I gave him. They're pissing, them. They're pissing themselves in the car. Buffalo through Barnox. That is no, proper. That's proper. <laughs> that is. It takes it to a whole new level. I'm not standing back. That is not a camera. This is a camera. Still a lonely hippo in the pond. Wakey wakey! This is the end of day. 10. 10. And this is our view on our last game drive in the Savuti and then tomorrow's backup day. We've got a five hour journey tomorrow to my left at about eleven o'clock. Okay, we spotted something on the left here. Jackal over there. Okay, we've got a jackal. That's quite interesting, we haven't seen one yet. Can you see it there, Dave? Yeah. Okay, let's call it. Okay, that was a good end. So how many kilometers have we done? 2,650. And then tomorrow to... Where are we going tomorrow? Northbridge. Yeah. 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 yeah.
Third bridge. Third bridge. And there we've got five hours worth of travel tomorrow. And pack up day in Zavuti. Yeah, maybe we'll get our tent pen that we lost in um, Northgate. <laughs> Always a good idea to pack an extra couple of tent pens just in case. <laughs> <laughs>